Auto-digitize will give you more control over the conversion settings than instant auto-digitize. Simply insert the image you wish to use and click on Open. Then you can resize and crop the artwork if necessary. You may resize the image using specific dimensions in the Transform toolbar or by inputting a percentage and then pressing Enter, or you can use the control handles around the selected picture to resize the image. Next, click on Auto Digitize. The Bitmap Artwork Preparation dialog box appears. In this dialog box, you can reduce the number of colors in the image. The dialog box shows you the original image and the processed image. You can adjust the color to match the number of threads you wish to use by changing the value in the Reduce Colors field. Remember to always count the background as a color if you are counting the colors. If you need to identify the location of a color, simply select the color chip and click and hold on Locate, and it will show you the part of the image that uses this color. You can let the software combine colors simply by clicking OK, or you can select colors you wish to merge. To merge colors, hold the Control key down and click on the color chips you wish to merge. Then after they're selected, click on Merge, and then repeat the process to merge other colors. Again, if you need to locate where the color is, simply select it and press Locate. And that will give you a clue as far as which color to merge with that selected color. After reducing the colors, click OK. The Auto Digitize dialog box will open and you can change the type of stitch added to the colors by clicking on the drop-down arrow next to either Fill, Detail, or Omit. Notice that the white background color is automatically omitted. I'm going to change these red colors to Fill Stitches, and then I can also select a color and change the sequence by selecting either the Move Up or Move Down. Notice that you can also locate a color in this dialog box. If you wish to change the matching method, you can. This will correspond to the same choices that you could select with the matching method in the Auto Digitize toolbox. To add outlines to shapes, simply place a check mark in Outlines and choose a color from the drop down choices. You may also add a border by placing a check mark in front of border and then choosing the color you wish to use for the border. Click OK to add stitches. The type of stitches can be changed at this point and editing can be done just like in other types of auto digitizing. Pull compensation should always be changed with auto digitized pictures. I'm first going to hide the bitmap and while everything is selected, go to Effects, Others tab, click on the drop down arrow by pull compensation and choose point 0.4. Notice that the software instructs you to do this for Auto Digitizer and Magic Wand. Click OK and then save the file. 